Good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we are talking about giving back with our friends at the American Red Cross. We're also learning about the connection between hearing health and the coronavirus pandemic with United Healthcare. We've got details on exciting events for you to enjoy the rest of this month in our What's Up RGV segment. Plus, we're visiting our friends at Prominence Health Plan to learn all about different benefits that we should be looking out for. Now, there's so much going on, and we've got all of those details. Valley Por Vida starts right Right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, there's a surprising connection between hearing health and the coronavirus pandemic. We know COVID-19 may affect people's ability to you know, taste and smell, but instances of hearing loss are also emerging. And Diane Nenz, audiologist and senior clinical director for United Healthcare Hearing, joins us now to explain a little bit more. Take a look. There may be some connection between COVID-19 and hearing loss. There have been some limited instances where hearing loss has been reported following a COVID-19 infection. Um, there is being, research is being done. However, it's still in the stages of infancy. So we don't know exactly what that connection is between COVID-19 and hearing loss. However, we do know that COVID-19 affects multiple aspects of the body. But importantly, we are concerned that some people with hearing loss may be delaying treatment due to exposure concerns with in-person medical appointments. Important to know that hearing loss is extremely common and can affect anyone at any age. In fact, there is a growing number of people at risk due to an aging population and environmental factors such as exposure to loud sounds. So the common signs may include turning up the volume on the TV or radio that others find too loud, trouble hearing on the phone, and difficulty following conversations in noisy environments. And I would say the early stages of hearing loss, many times people have hope that the problem will eventually improve or go away. But typically, it occurs very gradual over time, and at first, it's not uncommon uh, for friends or family to notice that their loved one has hearing loss before they even realize. There have been new advances and the advances are making it more convenient and affordable to access hearing health care and treatment. So for example, the online testing, if people suspect that they might have hearing loss or if it's been many years since they've been tested, they can start by going to uh, an online hearing test such as UnitedHealthCareHearing.com. And if hearing loss is detected, we can schedule an in-person eval with one of our hearing health professionals. Uh, we also are very excited. Uh, we have a new Right to You program, and that's our virtual care program. And I will say that COVID-19 really accelerated um, the implementation of that. New advances are making it more convenient to uh, convenient and affordable to access hearing health care and treatment. And the team at United Healthcare can definitely help you through that and so much more. Feel free to visit UHChearing.com if you'd like more information. Well, the American Red Cross works year-round to help save lives, and they encourage us to get involved in our local community efforts as well. Now go ahead and take a look at some of the ways that we can get together and aid in their mission. Help our local community through these you know extremely dedicated volunteers and really the staff we're just here to support them um, in the work that they're doing and then you know there's also the opportunity to help um, other people across the nation whether it be through you know a blood donation or um, traveling to an area that's been affected with a hurricane or a wildfire so there's just a lot of opportunity within the red cross to really help others time you donate, your blood is also tested for antibodies. And then that's a way for, you know, you to know if you may have obviously had COVID, um, you had the antibodies, but maybe you, you didn't even realize. That then can be 
injected basically into um, a patient that is really struggling and, and having a difficult time with COVID and, and hopefully help them, you know, recover faster. The American Red Cross South Texas chapter is always happy to have helpful volunteers, so don't hesitate to reach out to their team and lend a hand. Well, there are so many great events happening across the Rio Grande Valley throughout the month of April and into next month, and we're breaking it all down for you. So it's time now for What's Up RGV. The 2021 Rio Grande Valley Chapter Annual Banquet hosted at the RGV Livestock Show Grounds will be happening Friday, April the 30th in Mercedes. And this is a great chance for some fun for the whole family. Now we're talking about a prime rib dinner, an oyster bar and shrimp bar, raffles, live and silent auctions, plus plenty of refreshing drinks. Guests are encouraged to attend in relaxed and casual attire so that everyone can kick back and just enjoy the night. Now the event kicks off at 5 30 in the afternoon so be sure to mark your calendar so that you don't miss it and you can visit ccatexas.org if you'd like more information and if you're into sports then you just may be interested in the rio grande valley junior championship event later this month it's all happening at los lagos golf course and putters grill in edinburgh and it's sure to be an event that you won't want to miss participants range from various ages and the 18 hole golf course is sure to allow space for everyone to just have some fun. The Global Junior Gold Rankings rank one day and multi-day tournaments by state and region in over 240 different countries for players ages 15 to 19 specifically. And RGV residents are excited to show what they've got out on the course. And of course, if you're looking for something more active to do, look no further than Benson Rio Grande Valley State Park with Texas Parks and Wildlife in Mission. There will be an exciting and educational night hike on Saturday, April the 24th. And this is a great opportunity to learn all about true nightlife in an interactive way. The guides will lead you along the night path and you can use your best sneaky skills for a first-hand look at what animals live in our valley community at night and how they behave when the lights are out and everyone's asleep. Creepy crawly critters are all around so if you or your child are interested in a closer look then this is definitely an event for you. Feel free to visit stayhappening.com if you'd like those details. All right well it's time now to take a commercial break and then we've got to look at your local weather updates but stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back and we're taking a look at how Prominence Health Plan can help you choose the best health benefits for this year. That's coming up. <laughs> 